triphasic training, as I mentioned, Carl Dietz's program, something that I've practiced on myself over the years and have done with Australian rules footballers. Like I said, really quite relevant for those that have got competitions far away. So if you're in the weekly cycle of playing at the moment and this time of year and late July, uh, finals are on the horizon. So you don't really want to be trying something new, especially a high stimulus like um, the triphasic program. However, if you're in the off season or you're in more your medium long-term rehab, it can be a great uh, program to break through some results and improve your uh, strength. So we'll get straight into it. It's simply being, it's typically a six week program I program it with three total body sessions, so you could do it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, give a minimum of 48 hours in between just for quality uh, sake rather than doing back-to-back -back days of it. Um, you do it on your big lifts, so your bench press, your bench pull, weighted chin-ups, um, box squat, and trap bar deadlifts. We start with an eccentric block, which is um, uh, probably my favorite and most effective out of the three phases because I feel like you can't cheat an eccentric block if you do it properly. We want to spend majority of that three to four second uh, eccentric tempo on the way down. So if it's a bench press, you're lowering the bar towards your chest. That's the eccentric contraction of the muscles. Um, and what we want to try and do is focus on where you're weakest in that lift. So perhaps before you start the six-week block, and this is what we do on our online gainers program, we test everyone, all the athletes on the program, find out their one rep max, and then ask the athlete, where did you find um, was your sticking point? Was it at the bottom of the bench press, driving out of the hole, driving the bar off your chest, or was it locking out? So your, your tricep elbow strength is locking out at the top of the rep. Once we've got that information, we then program the exercises specific to strengthening those weakest points. Then from there, we do an isometric phase, same focus working on the weakest point of lift. So for someone that's at the bottom, let's let's focus now on someone who actually, so that would be simple, the, the bar would be set up where you're pushing into the safety pins just above the chest and you work on recruiting uh, as much uh, force as you can into those immovable objects, the pins, or you can use the safety hooks if you haven't got those. Uh, I've got a video of how to do that exercise and all these exercises on my YouTube channel. If you just search for Pelica Pro on YouTube, you can see um, on our playlist, we have all the strength uh, technique videos there. If you can't find it, just message me on Instagram or TikTok and I'll send you the link. Um, then also focusing on the top of the lift. So that's where we'd have the bar just higher up off the chest just before the elbows are about to lock up, lock out. And that's the same thing. You're focusing on maximal force for that three to five seconds. Um, so we are working on strength, not uh, power. So for this one, we want to try and hit that high force and, and hold it. Then the last two weeks of the six week program, we move into the concentric phase. So that's what everyone would typically know where you lower the bar down to the chest and you drive up. Um, if you're focusing on for those that their sticking point, their weakest point was at the bottom of the chest driving up, I would do pulse reps. So if we're doing a set of five, you lower down, you hit the chest, you drive up to your weakest point, you come back down and hit the chest, come back up, and you do that for four times. And then on the fifth rep, you finish off the set. Um, and then for those that are, their weakest point is at the top of the lift, where we're working on locking out the elbow, I would go an extra 20% heavier than your bench press. So for the 100 kilo bencher, 120 kilos is on the bar, and we're doing a pin press. So you're reducing the range of motion, hence why we've got more weight on the bar, um, and we're, the, the bar starts in the normal safety in the hooks, you rack it out, you tap it down. It, as I mentioned, check out the ACL injury prevention mitigation uh, blog post that Dean Benton created for us. You can check, find that out if you just Google for Dean Benton ACL, we will pop up there. Uh, our recent blog post that I did on what is most important for um, mitigating injuries when it comes to team field-based uh, athletes, on LinkedIn, it was pretty strong, as well as Twitter. Built, developing robust athletes is number one at 60% and Twitter 68. Warm-ups and cool-downs, effective warm-ups and cool-downs, only 5% on LinkedIn, zero on Twitter. Uh, an effective, adequate periodized program came out 14% on LinkedIn, 30% on Twitter. And movement competency, 21% on LinkedIn, 19% on, on Twitter. So the pretty consistent findings um, the belief at the moment for high performance staff uh, is that building robust athletes, resilient athletes,